Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so let's take a moment. Let's take a moment to recap. Let's take a moment to appreciate the most important things in life. And very often these are free, which is not a lot in this life, but just to listen. The greatest gift of all, just to listen. Do you know, I had an experience today which really awoken me to think that actually just sometimes if we just take a moment, we put all our own stresses aside and if we actually just listen, it can do the power of good. And actually, not knowingly, you can help somebody hugely. Now, not all of us have been blessed in this life to have an amazing support network. Now, I absolutely wholeheartedly with all my heart, appreciate and recognise just how blessed I am with the support network I have. The Lord above blessed me with an amazing family. My mum, a blessed gift. My dad, a gift again. My nan, a mum's mum, a gift again. The list goes on. I've got three amazing brothers, a sister-in-law, my brother's partner, his fiance, and I've got nieces and nephews to turn to. Yes, they're young, but Believe you me, when you've got a little one running around, they can help you work out stresses through playing games and laughter and fun and jokes. But you know what? Not everybody in this life, of course, doesn't have that. Friends, I've never really been too blessed with that many friends, but I have a few people who I can call upon if I need to. But if somebody hasn't got all of this, sometimes just passing in the street and just saying to somebody, hello, good morning, those simple phrases which we take for granted can actually open up a whole series of part of events, if you say, or if you like. And those can actually lead to somebody feeling comfortable enough because you've recognised them, comfortable enough to be able to open up, to talk and to vent. Now, we all vent about things. Absolutely, we do. It's an amazing gift to have that ability to pick up the phone and vent to somebody and tell somebody, that you've had the worst day ever. When, in a matter of fact, actually, it's probably over something quite small, or it's something which tomorrow will be long forgotten, or it's something which actually, if you slow it right down, you have the greater hand, you have the control over it, and a brighter day will follow. Fingers crossed, we're blessed with a brighter day to follow. But in some situations in life when, sadly, there is not gonna be a brighter day to follow, such as ill health, such as bereavement, loss, such as those horrific times which are just thrown on us and they just happen all of a sudden. Now, it's been really, really strange as of lately because I have, ex I'm not personally, thank goodness, I haven't experienced this, but I've experienced loss. I lost my nan a year ago on the 31st of May 2021. And to be quite honest with you, when I lost my nan and she left this world, part of me died. A part of me died and... I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same because my amazing nan left this world. And with that, she took a part of me. And it's strange, and I struggle on a daily basis. And that was my nan had Alzheimer's and myself, my mum, we looked after my nan. And for several, for several years, her health deteriorated. But to a point, she was still able to do things. But of course, COVID happened and all of those horrific times where our gracious government in here in the UK was able to attend parties and one thing or another, but yet I wasn't able to see my nan, yet only through glass and in a screen. And it's for that time period where I feel that my nan grew weaker because I wasn't able to hug her. I wasn't able to hold her hand to be able to physically be there with her in that very moment of trying to talk to her, trying to, to be her memory, trying to be her thoughts, her feelings, just as what my mum did. So I know what grief is. I know what grief is. I really is. I really do. And do you know what a saying which comes to mind for that is that grief is love, but nowhere to go. But for me, I have faith and I pray every day. And for me, my nan is with the Lord above. But today, I went through an experience where this lady, in a sweet shop, or a health shop as you call it, um, me and my mum, we'd gone to town today, we were doing some browsing, we were doing some preparations for Christmas actually, and we walked into this store and we were looking around, and first of all, she didn't, she didn't speak, she didn't seem to, to, 
too happy, too well, um, which I never ever judge, never ever judge in this life. Um, you can't afford to judge in this life for the things which happen to us, and it can just happen to the spur of the moment. But this dear lady actually had lost her husband very recently, and she decided to open up to us. We'd asked her, um, we, my mum, bless her, has uh, got amazing people skills, absolutely a gift for people. My mum looked after people um uh in a uh, in a care home um for mornings um she actually gave up her job uh bless her she was a, a supervisor at breakfast times in a care home and um she used to look after a lot of uh vulnerable people predominantly with alzheimer's and uh dementia and those type of illnesses um so those degenerative type of illnesses so she's seen a lot of lovely people go through a lot of horrific things um and my mum um, gave her heart and soul to that role. She then, bless her heart, credit to her, the amazing person she is, gave up her job to look after me throughout my operations because unfortunately I've not been blessed with great health. Um, so when she speaks to people, it's like this candle ignites and you see this amazing, beautiful character. So there's my mum today in this sweet shot talking to this lady and we didn't know who she was. And you see my mum just literally just turned to gold talking to people. And honestly, and she's there confiding, she's there supporting and showing this true passion, wanting to help and wanting to support somebody. But yet she's never met this person. And me too, of course. But of course, I'm still learning from mum. So, so yeah, absolutely. And I've got my customer service skills from different previous roles and things, but it's not the same. You need to be there, heart. And we've had horrific loss and tragedy in our family. So I can, I can really show that as well to other people. I really can. And... And, but my mum was a shining light in the story. And anyway, this lady, for 40 minutes, I would say 40 minutes, told us about the whole experience of losing her husband. And she seemed so happy and so positive in the store, going around in her own way. And then she came and she decided, and bless her heart, she shared this story with us. And do you know what? When we left her, the effect not us personally had on her, but because we had listened and because we had given the time just to be that listening ear, just for her to vent about how she'd been feeling recently on the difficult days of finding the strength to be able to get out of bed in the morning, of finding the strength to even get dressed, bless her heart, because she'd lost her husband, her soulmate, of her whole life at the age of 45. <laughs> and yet she still finds the strength to go on. And she said that her husband became ill in December and by March he'd passed away. That's just incomprehensible. It truly is, isn't it? And I mean, when you think of it, what would put that situation right? Sadly, nothing. Sadly in this life, with no cure, nothing will ever put that situation right. Nothing will ever put anything back to that dear lady of how she was before with her husband. And you could, you could tell the devotion, the love, she had for that man and he is no longer here but yet she finds that strength that ability to go on and today she chose us to talk to she chose us to listen to and you know what, with us just listening you could see she ultimately changed and you know what, we hadn't met her we hadn't met her before this is the first time we'd met her and she chose to share probably the most personal details with us all from just a transaction at a till in a health store sort of sweet come sweet shop and she decided to share that with us my mum's absolute i don't know what qualities just golden qualities to be able to uh, that compassion that love i think uh, i don't know honestly i'm still in awe of it i really really am and yet all of this and we were just listening, but yet the power to just listen. You could see right there in that situation to just listen to somebody. Sometimes we are so overruled in this life by wanting lavish cars and big houses and endless amounts of money in the bank and one thing or another. But sometimes you not know, the greatest gift of all, which mum done today, is just to listen to that dear lady. Just to listen. Yes, I helped and yes, I spoke to her. But mum ultimately was a shining star in this scenario. And 
She just listened. But yet, through that listening, the facial expressions, the affection, the love, the whole kind of persona, you could say a sunset in the darkest situation possible. And yet this lady looked at us and as she was talking and talking and talking and we were just listening and she was going through and she felt so comfortable with us that she told us these details. And do you know what, by the end of it, do you know what the lady done? And do you know what, I was just, I could have, I was close to tears. She said, can I give you a hug? Can I give you a hug? Bless your heart, lady. You have gone through this. And yet, can I give you a hug? Yes, of course you can give us a hug. And she gave a hug to my mum, and she gave me a hug. And that tightness, that affection of just almost, thank you for being there in that moment. That moment where I felt that I couldn't deal with everything, and I spoke to you because I felt comfortable with you. I think it was mum's smile, actually, when she said thank you, when we were actually paying for our goods at the counter, and she started speaking. And honestly, that warmth, that, that true, genuine wanting to listen, you can't put there in somebody. You can't buy that. We're in. We're at the first of October today. You can't buy that. Christmas just around the corner. You cannot buy that. Wrapped it up. You've either got it and you haven't. My mum's got it. She's got it in heaps, mounds. Lots of people have got it. Some haven't. Bless them. They're learning. But some, some have got it. Some haven't. But honestly, do you know what? I'm just actually number one. I'm in awe of my. I'm in awe of my mum. I mean, wow. Yes, I was supportive. Absolutely, I was. I could have cried there with her, I really could have, and I was close to her at times. But honestly, just the whole the whole experience, I'm just so taken back by it. I really truly am. But just to listen, how powerful, just taking a moment. And I mean genuinely listening. I don't mean on your phone, yeah I'm listening, yeah I'm listening. I mean genuinely your whole sort of your whole body language, you're directing to that person. You open, you open your heart to that person. You listen with me. You listen. You face that person. You put everything what's going on in your head to the back and you genuinely listen. Like my mum, you open your heart. You listen. You ask the questions when you, and you think, oh, I wouldn't know what to ask. It comes to you. It comes to you. You're a good person. That compassion, that empathy, that love, it rolls when you hit a situation. It's like anything, isn't it? If you hit a stone in the road, you automatically know what to do. You steer away, or you get out and you deal with it. If you hit a topic in a conversation with somebody and you hear such things, and somebody's gone through such tragedy, such grief, it comes to you. It just comes to you. Some better than others. My mum, wow, I'm in awe. But it came to me as well. And you know, when you do something, what you think is just so simple to listen, it's not simple. If you do it correctly, it's not simple. We obviously did today, mum certainly did, but wow. I mean, I'm still in awe of that whole situation of my mum. That dear lady, I'm thinking of how on earth, how the hell does she get through each day? I'm struggling with my nan, but this lady has lost her life partner. My nan was blessed, bless her heart, and I was blessed to have her for so long. I lost my nan at the age of 20, um, I was just turning 28, and nan was shy of 95, three days from 95. Look at the long life she had. Yes, it was far, far too soon in my heart, but if she'd have lived to a thousand, it would have been too soon. He was 45. 45. Next year, they had planned a holiday as their Sylvan wedding anniversary. And bless her heart, she was working on the strength and the ability to be able to still do that because she wanted to still celebrate the wonderful, wonderful time they had together. That's strength. That there is love. I got all that from just listening. So to listen, to just listen, is the greatest gift of all. Thank you very much. I wanted to really share that with you on my clip today because we are all guilty of being taken over, being absorbed by material things, being materialistic, having certain amounts of money, doing certain things, going to certain shows and what have you, just because of sometimes social status, sometimes wanting to make an impression, sometimes wanting to be at a certain point in our life. But sometimes, do you know what the greatest gift of all? Yeah, you could shower somebody with endless amounts of money and gifts and 
endless things, but sometimes just showing somebody that you care and that you want to genuinely listen and help is the greatest gift of all. You don't even have to know that person. It means the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. It certainly truly means the world to me. Thank you for sharing this clip. And until next time, God bless. Take great care. Next time you're in a situation and somebody doesn't see themselves, perhaps just ask them a question. Put everything aside. Make them a drink. Make them a beverage. Or make a time in your diary to take them out for a meal or something just as simple as for a walk and sit on a parkside bench. Truly ask them. Truly listen. Switch on and listen. You will never regret it. To have gone through that experience and to feel that just through listening, you've helped support that person, that is a gift in itself, and it's a gift just by listening. God bless and thank you very much. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take great care. Much love. I'll see you soon. Bye now.